All right, so welcome to 1.2. We're going to be reviewing, hopefully, some multiplication of one and two digit numbers today. Let's see who already knows how to do this. So 14 times 5. So I'm going to put the one with more digits on the top and do that. 5 times 4 is 20. That 0 has to go right under the 4 and 5. And then we carry that 2, it's called. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So we say 14 times 5 is 70. So do the rest of them. So 23 times 6. 6 times 3, 18. Carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 8 times 52. Am I going to do 8 times 52 this way? Actually, if you're saying you, you can't, you actually can. It's just harder. I'm going to go over that today. But we're going to put the 1 with more digits on the top. And 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41, and so 8 times 52 is 416. So that's all we're doing today. All right, we're going to be multiplying large numbers. So try both of these. Seven times eight is 56, carry the five. Seven times five is 35, plus five is 40. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25, and we're going to put our comma in the correct place. 1, 2, 3, and comma, it's 2,506. So I'm going to put the one with more digits, the 462, on the top. 9 times 2 is 18, carry the 1. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 1 is 55, carry the 5. Notice I'm lining up my columns here. That's going to be important as we get bigger and bigger. 9 times 4 is 36 plus 5 is 41, I believe, and then this is 4,158. All right, so now we're going to have two rows, and so you're taking these notes, and then we will evaluate these. So I'm going to do 27 times 15. So 5 times 7 is 35. The 5 goes under that 7 and 5. We're carrying the 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Now, this is Mr. Ben's weird thing that he does. I don't like to put a zero there. You can put a zero, it's fine. I know your teacher told you to do that. But that zero is telling you to, what that zero is doing is pushing you over. That's what it's doing. So I actually draw what we're doing, which is pushing you over. Because we're multiplying by this one here, but that one is not a one. It's a 10, because it's in the tens place, right? And that's why you can't, Put the next start the next row under directly underneath the first one all right so you line up this next number underneath this one one times seven is seven so that seven has to go right underneath that one and then set one times two is two and then what do you do to the two rows you add them up and then we go five three plus seven is ten we carry and we get four and 27 times 15 is 405 all right do the next one so 84 times 73. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 8 is 24. Plus 1 is 25. I'm stepping over or pushing over. 7 times 4 is 28. Carry the 2. 7 times 8 is 56. Plus 2 more is 58. Adding up the two rows. And that number is 6,132. Now, I want you to do both of these. You can do the one on the right. I'm going to do it just to show you that it's possible. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14. So this is 140. So what would you do in this one? Well, you'd follow the same rules that we've been doing. 8 times 5 is 40, right? And then carry, but there's nothing there. So you put a 40. Then you would step over. 2 times 5 is 10. Right, and bring it over, and you add up to two rows, and you get 140. Right, you get the same answer if you follow the rules, but it's weird and it's harder. That's but this is why we put the one bigger number. It's it, it's the bigger number now, but it's the one with more digits because we're going to be multiplying decimals later on, 
in a few weeks and it won't be necessarily the bigger number it will be the one with more numbers in it more digits All right just we're at practice so at the end of each lesson we'll practice what we've learned Please put your commas in your numbers. Now this is multiple choice. Now you should be, when I do this, I'm actually wanting you to not do the work. Every other time I am wanting you to show your work, right? It's got to be that one, right? Because 100 times 5 is 500, right? So this has got to be an answer a little bit smaller than 500. So it's got to be 495, not 45. And we're going to do problems like this. I want you to be able to use your powers of estimation, rounding, uh, to do make your life easier. 